one of the easiest ways to deliver quick wins for your clients and get them revenue in the door and immediately make your SaaS or your agency more sticky with them is to run a database reactivation. Now, I'm not going to get super into the weeds on what a database reactivation is. Uh, if you want to learn more, check out Rob Bailey. He is the master of database reactivations, has tons of free value. Uh, just Google his name and head to his school. But what I'm going to show you here is how easy it is to run a database reactivation, how easy it is to set it up with Zappy Chat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through how to set it up. That's literally going to take, I don't know, a minute here. Uh, and then on the back end, I'll talk a little bit about some thoughts about database reactivation uh, that maybe help get to get your mind juices flowing on that. So we've loaded in Zappy Chat Snapshot and we have loaded in our calendar ID, uh, dropped in a prompt. And just to show you, I literally just put create a prompt for HVAC company called Higgins HVAC, running a free AC checkup heading into summer as well as confirm the address of the lead and then confirm a day and time to book them a free checkup. Just copied and pasted this prompt over and we've got a functioning prompt that confirms address and books in appointments. Then I also have my robot webhook and robot non-booking webhook both loaded in as well. Now, to set up a database reactivation, here's what we need to do. We need to put in our reactivation message into this custom value, and then we need to add leads to a workflow. That's literally it. So I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like and talk through some thought process on the back end. So first, we're going to need a reactivation message. This is HVAC going into the summer. So I'm going to say something like, hi, contact dot first name. Summer is heating up already. And we are offering a free AC checkup to all, to all customers through Memorial Day. Let me know if you want to get that scheduled. And we will send someone by. To make sure you're all set for summer. So I'll talk a little bit more about this later, but crafting your reactivation message is going to be the hardest part of this setup process. Uh, because like I said, it's literally just putting the text in there and then dropping leads into a workflow. So once you have your reactivation message, all you have to do is go to your contacts list select the contacts you want to drop in. Maybe that's selecting all of them. Maybe you want to filter for a certain group, uh, but you just select all of them. Click this add to automation button, proceed, and then select the re database reactivation workflow that is built into your Zappy Chat snapshot. You can add all at once. You can name it whatever you like. Click add to automation. And that's it. Completely done reactivation set up for you. Obviously, if you have a huge list, you might want to drip that across a few days. Uh, there are some technicalities in there around like making sure you get your A2P verified, things like that. But in terms of actually executing on it and setting it up, that is all that you need to do. I'll show you what this workflow looks like in the snapshot. Over here in the database reactivation workflow, all we do is once the lead comes through, it resets the conversation meaning that it clears out any past AI conversations so that we're now focused on this current offer, on this current combo, this reactivation here. Uh, updates the opportunity in the pipeline and throws in the intro message as the reactivation message. So that reactivation message you took, we're giving it to the AI and saying like, hey, this was your intro into the conversation. This is what they're responding to. And then waits one minute, drip mode, 85 per minute. This is just to make sure you don't max out your text capacity here. Uh, before adding a DR tag just to mark it that they went through this workflow and texting out that message. Then what we have set up in here is a pretty simple uh, reactivation flow where it's just going to wait three hours for a response. And in the event that they did respond, we're going to add the tag DR reply so we can track how many folks responded to our reactivation. Uh, but if they did not reply, then it is going to try to follow up with them here. If the first name's there, then we're going to send contact first name, just making sure you saw this. Or if the first name isn't there, I'm going to say, just making sure you saw this. You can customize those follow-up messages however you want. You could change that time. You could build in additional follow-ups. But 
this flow right here works just fine and follows up with those leads just once so as not to be annoying or overbearing um, but to still make sure that they make sure they saw saw the message saw the offer once they reply the ai takes over the rest of the snapshot does the work books them into an appointment and you know if you're prompting it to confirm address things like that it'll do that as well so let's talk a little bit about the database reactivation itself once more you can learn a ton about this ton of free resources over at rob bailey's course uh but just a quick note here that when you are thinking through your reactivation message when you're thinking through uh, how to reach back out to your leads the goal is to well first you're, you need to nail down what your goal is are you trying to book them into an appointment are you merely trying to get them to re-engage and remind them that you still exist are you trying to send them to a landing page or a free lead magnet uh, what that what that goal is and then from there you want to make it personal in some capacity um, and so like in here using the first name and kind of creating what we did here was try to create some sort of relational aspect you know just remarking on the weather is a natural human tendency um, and then offering them something appealing a new offer or a new angle on an offer that they've seen before and then putting in your call to action let me know if you want to get that scheduled we'll send someone by to make sure you're all set for summer trying to make it as low barrier to entry and low friction as possible um, Another good example and a really simple one is uh, that I've seen used is people reaching out more in the SaaS coaching space uh, B2B uh, industry is to use something along the lines of, of asking, are you still interested in or are you still looking to? And so for an example, we just ran a reactivation with some of our Zappy Chat leads and said, are you still looking for, are you still looking to win more customers with AI? And when folks said yes, just pointed them towards booking a demo. I think we got something like 60 or 70 additional demo calls just last week, just from reaching out to our old leads and asking if they're still interested in using AI in their business. And so that's an example of something that works on that side as well. Um, if you're talking about repeat customers or cu customers that have bought in the past but have not returned lately so maybe it's a list of customers that you haven't heard from in a month or two months uh, this is great for businesses where you have repeat customers uh, things like um, things like med spas fitness Cairo uh, you can send things like hey haven't seen you around the gym in a while we've got a couple free passes for XYZ for this challenge coming up or a couple free buddy passes wanted to know if you wanted to bring someone by the gym uh, you know the variety of offers that you can throw in are endless but thinking about the context of where the lead is in their journey and in their relationship with you and putting together a message that hopefully generates a response gives them the lowest barrier entry the lowest friction opportunity to respond is going to then generate that conversation generate that connection and let the ai do its thing let the ai connect conversationally personally engage and book them into appointments automatically so you can fill calendars fill seats fill appointments whatever whatever it looks like for you and your clients and use ai once more to just leverage leverage the tools at your fingertips to expand your impact so give this a try check it out let me know how it goes love to see it